The Mundo King Museum is one of the most delightfully surreal things that I have ever seen. My opinion is not unique. Atlas Obscuria has described this mostly unknown castle as one of the most bizarre places on the planet. That's high praise from a publication that specializes in oddities. The castle sits on a large hill, overlooking the tropical tourist town of Sasua. The building's design can only be described as gothic science fiction, but even that fails to describe the castle's eccentric nature. Inside the five-story palace is a wild and diverse collection of art. There are no lights. Everything is naturally illuminated by the sun. Attempting to describe the pieces would become comically unbelievable without visual representations. There are Viking goblins who are excited about seeing horses, spaceship graffiti, paintings that depict religious ceremonies with aliens, a host of Haitian busts that are euphorically looking skyward, and winged mermaids riding zombies of the voodoo tradition. Atop the castle, visitors are welcomed by turkey vultures, almost as if they are fixtures of the museum. The genius behind this alien castle is recently deceased German artist Rolf Schultz. This German-born, cigar-puffing visionary left the rigid bureaucracy of his home in Hamburg for the free lifestyle found in the northern coast of the Dominican Republic. Originally built to be his home and art studio, the castle's collection grew so large that Schultz started to welcome visitors. He began this colossal project in 1990 and continued to work on it until his death in 2018. His castle was not finished, but his ambition would never allow him to finish, even if he had an unlimited amount of time. Schultz literally believed in aliens and was certain they played a role in guiding the ancient civilizations of the world. He devoted 30 years of his life to this belief, as the goal of this castle was to attract aliens. Schultz believes the castle was visited by aliens from different planets, and it is rumored that some of the art pieces were gifted by these extraterrestrial visitors. While alive, he lived in the castle and would often give personal tours to visitors, be they human or intergalactic. This calm yet manic man became the subject of a documentary which is still looking for distribution platforms. Since Schultz's death, the museum is now managed by Lionel Jean. Jean met Schultz by coincidence in the 90s, and has since made large contributions to the Mundo King Castle Museum. The clever curation of the sculptures makes them seem as if they are observing other art pieces. The curation, along with the natural lighting, means that Schultz's castle can never be accurately depicted on camera. It can only be truly experienced in person. I hope you'll agree with me in saying that the Mundo King Museum should be preserved for multiple generations to come. Since it is located in the tourist town of Sasua, visitor counts have been down due to the pandemic. Because of this, I made merchandise that celebrates this hidden treasure. It can be purchased from the link in the description. I will donate 10% of my profits from this merchandise to the museum on all sales during the rest of the year.